In this video, we're going to be talking about the most important unit for measuring angles, the radian. And just a reminder that on this channel, what we do is try to dig deeper into mathematical concepts and to explain where they come from. So let's explore radians and see if you really know what they are. Let's start with an easy question. Do you know how to draw an angle of pi radians? Sure, it's just this. How about an angle of two pi radians? You probably know it's equivalent to 360 degrees, the angle of a full circle. And so that's not too difficult. Good. Now let's complicate things a bit. How about an angle of 1.57 radians? What does that look like? That may seem much harder, but I'll give you a clue. 1.57 is approximately pi over 2. In other words, 1.57 radians is roughly pi over 2 radians. So now you can see that it corresponds to this angle. OK, we're making progress. Already we can draw angles of pi radians, 2 pi radians, and even something as complicated as an angle that measures 1.57 radians. So let's move on to what might seem like a very simple angle to draw, 1 radian. Here's your challenge. Take a piece of paper and draw an angle that measures 1 radian. Surely it can't be too hard. Yet, you may be having trouble. One option might be to take the angle of 3.14 radians, divide it by 3, and get something approximate that way. If you've managed to draw an angle of 1 radian, congratulations! But some of you may be puzzled. How could it be fairly easy to draw an angle as seemingly strange as 1.57 radians, and yet be hard to draw one as simple as 1 radian? Don't worry. I've done this activity many times with students, and most have been stumped by it. As I suggested at the beginning, what's happening here is that yes, you may know how to operate with radians because you're working on the basis that pi radians is equivalent to 180 degrees. But it's possible that you're unaware of a fundamental concept, what a radian actually is. The word radian comes from radius, the radius of a circle. The most elementary way to mark out one radian is first to draw a circle of radius r, whatever you want r to be. Next, draw the horizontal radius that goes to the right. Then, measure out the radius, for example with a thread, and transfer this length around the circle from this point. Here we have the end point. And now, this angle measures one radian. It's a straightforward but elegant concept. An angle of one radian is one that corresponds to the arc of a circle that has the same length as the radius. I hope this little explanation has helped. Remember, in mathematics, it's essential to know what each object is and to understand mathematical concepts well. And that's our aim in these videos. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you again soon.